What's going on, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Doug. It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back to us and gentlemen of the bitch today, you feel me? The beauty of struggle, struggle meals, meals, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, man, if you grew up in not so uh, great areas or like your parents didn't have the funds well, no, or whatnot. Fortunate to have all the yeah. best of the best, man. Yeah, you know, you had the struggle meals, bro. You mm-hmm. had the meals that weren't, you know, typically the healthiest most of the time or you didn't have something to complete the meal. But it got so, yeah, you through. It got you through. You didn't starve. That's the key thing. So. No, you didn't starve. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's forget because sometimes we, we was, yeah, we was, man, because we had to survive. Mm-hmm. And you wasn't able to afford all of the, the healthier options. So, you know, we had to do what we had to do. And that's something I was going to get you full. So mm-hmm. we're about to check this out right now, man. Shout out to the homies. I want to say in the Discord that sent this video our way. As soon as I said this, seen this, I was like, man, yeah, we got to check out this. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a lot of meals that we probably grew up on uh, as well. So let's check this out right now, man. Let's go. Look, I'm not saying that I'm on Gordon Ramsay's level of cooking. I'm pretty sure if Remy and I got into a cook-off, he'd wipe the floor with me like a <laughs> Swiffer wet jet. But however, I'm very capable of holding my own weight in the kitchen. I'm mm. definitely out cooking Chef Hatch in that flame neck of his, especially with that sludge that he was trying to taint the contestants with. But back when I was around the age of EDP's dating range, I was oh. eating things only a struggling college student would consume. But even to this day, I still partake in these primitive cuisines, something that society has deemed oh, as struggle bro, the, And though I've never stooped to the levels of Colgate dogs, I've had my fair share of struggle <laughs> I've never had First no of all, I don't think dog. you're supposed to be eating that much toothpaste at one time. You're not. But the Colgate dogs, that's. You keep on hold on to that one. Whoever did that one. <laughs> the Colgate dogs, bro. That was different, man. Ugh. <laughs> likely indulged in. Comment down below your favorite struggle meal and like and subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about the amount of things that you can make with a loaf of bread. Have you Ooh, ever been in the yeah. car with your parent and asked for like Thanks. McDonald's or something? And then they tell you, we got McDonald's at home. So you're geeked out of your mind. You think you're gonna get to the crib and have all types of McNuggets and get shit on McDonald's the table. Sandwich. But you look in the kitchen, you realize you've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, and confused. So now you gotta find whatever scraps that you can and put some random shit together like mm-hmm. Minecraft. Now, if Come you're on. a struggle meal connoisseur, then you already know how versatile a loaf of bread can be. Yep. A loaf of bread is the culinary equivalent to a Swiss army knife, bro. Facts. It can be used in any situation. First, yep. we got the glizzy sandwiches, aka hood dogs. If I had a dollar for every time hood I ate dogs. one of these, I would actually be able to buy. Yeah, I definitely had the hood dogs, bro. Oh yeah, that's too much damn ketchup. But yeah, definitely had the uh, <laughs> the hot dogs on the regular bread. Yep, bro. You feel me? With the, <laughs> then you put a slice of cheese on the bottom part. Fold yeah, it. Yeah. I would put it <laughs> uh, corner wise, so that way the 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 you know it I've wouldn't been there. hanging. So y'all get what I'm trying to say. I some fucking hot dog buns. The only time you could find hot dog buns in my house was during the 4th of July Memorial yep. Day. They did yep. ask for more scarce than soap in Keemstar's bathroom. But these were like a delicacy in my career, bro. All you gotta do is boil some hot dogs and throw that shit between a single slice of bread and you good to go. I yeah. never understood Straight. the niggas who nuked their hot dogs in the microwave like Benson's wings. And I swear, it would always be the butt of the bread that would be more stiff than the Discord mod socks. And now I'll spend the next 20 minutes trying to get any amount of ketchup out the bottle that I can. But overall, hood dogs were a certified hood classic and it's yeah. one of the definite faces of struggle meals. There was that also is. the hood pizza. Now, yep. look, I know people are making these pizza toasts for their kids and whatnot. But back they are doing that now too. They're doing it on like the uh, the toast them, the um, mm-hmm. like the garlic breads. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're putting yeah. them pepperoni on there and they throw yeah, it in nah, the, bro, uh, you can can't go wrong with this one. You ain't got no pizza. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I think it was Pepperonis. a survival. I think we've all been there at least once. It wasn't yep. no Pizza Hut, no Domino's, no Papa John's. Just a toasted slice of bread with some random ass cheese on it. Sometimes yep. it wasn't even any sauce. And that shit would be drier than Amy Schumer's jokes. And if you were using crab Yo. cheese slices, then you was in deeper trenches than the army soldier. Facts. But everybody knows that these poverty pizzas are elite, bro. When you don't yep. have any poverty food, pizza. you start getting hella creative, bro. It's like mm-hmm. another part of the mind gets tapped into like Einstein or something. And you're lying if Dude. you said you never used pasta sauce instead of actual marinara. There's just something so satisfactory about these penny pinching pizzas it's not delivery it's depressing <laughs> but the next one about to construe could possibly make hood meals look like fucking bobby flay we got the legendary syrup sandwich yep. you just grab two slices of bread and pour some iron jemimas yes, in between yep. syrup sandwiches Shout out bro. to the syrup sandwiches Man, you held it down for a minute, bro. Some fake ass flapjacks. This that shit Kendrick Lamar is rapping about at Humble, and I ain't talking about no fresh <laughs> toast with the cinnamon and nah, all the fake nah, 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 Like nah. this is Denny's Straight or something. Syrup I mean, bread, and bread. Syrup, bread. I think out of all the struggle meals in this video, this is my go-to. Like yeah. this sandwich is more reliable than the fucking mouse tool, bro. But you had to eat that shit hastily because the bread would absorb the syrup like yeah. a fucking sponge, and now you just got some soggy ass bread. But if you mm-hmm. wanted to, you could start dressing up your sandwich like it's going out on a date or something. But I just keep mine original and plain like a white tea. I remember <laughs> eating one of these every. Every day for breakfast for like a week straight and I don't regret a damn thing. And then there's the timeless classics like the grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. Instantaneous hit. But I was 
some of the types to eat tomato soup with it because that shit tasted like catalyst ketchup, bro. But when I was making them, they would always come off the skillet looking like a piece of fucking asphalt. But regardless, <laughs> this toasted bundle of cheese got me through a lot, especially when they had a slice of some processed yeah. ass lunch meat oh, in it. Yeah. That takes it to the next level like Super Mario or something. Yeah. And if you were using shredded cheese instead of sliced cheese, then you were moving duplicitously, bro. And I know there's a bunch of you bougie <laughs> ass niggas who cut the crust off your sandwiches too. I guess now would be a good time to mention the peanut butter and jelly PB sandwich. And probably oh. my favorite struggle meal. The I mean, OG. I just had the peanut butter and jelly in the same container swirled together like some fake ass. I remember when mm -hmm. I started seeing that, I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. you don't gotta do the extra work of trying yep. to put the jelly. But I, I liked, because I used to always put the jelly on one side mm -hmm. and then the uh, peanut butter on the other one. Mm -hmm. But once they came out with this one, bro, I was like, oh, we don't gotta do no work no more. Yep. That's yin yang. But it doesn't matter what type of peanut butter and jelly you use. Just but if like you're that. the kind of person who uses strawberry jam, yeah. you need to be exterminated with extreme prejudice. <laughs> so shout out to the Uncrustables for holding it down from time to time. Now we gotta talk about ramen. The epitome of struggle. This yeah. is broke as flavor. <laughs> ramen is the college kid. I think it's number one. The college kids go to, bro. Yeah. <laughs> noodles, bro. <laughs> noodles and noodles, bro. Yeah. You get creative. You start adding seasoning, yeah, bro. Boy. Start yeah. cutting up some sausages in that mug. <laughs> boy. Oh, broke as fuck is right. These salty ass noodles used to have my head ringing like the Liberty Bell, bro. But the flavor was ethereal. Probably the cheapest thing in this entire video and yeah. unless you got dirt for brains you know that chicken clears every other flavor of ramen of i'm pretty sure everybody's got a fat ass box of these noodles in their cabinet taking up more space than fat album but the beautiful thing about ramen is that you can customize your bowl more than your my player on 2k you can <laughs> add cheese eggs sriracha chocolate yep not I was devouring that shit like Naruto Uzumaki, bro. And don't think I forgot about y'all niggas who eat the entire brick whole like it's a fucking apple or something. But in all seriousness, Rama was an elite meal and would keep me plentiful for hours on end. I personally don't partake in the cup noodles, though. Just don't let me catch any of y'all niggas eating ramen sandwiches and we'll be all good. I already know y'all be adding hot cheetos yep. to the ramen, but at that point, I'd rather starve to have my interior organs start break dancing. Yep. Now we gotta talk about cereal. I'm pretty sure we've all eaten a bowl of cereal for dinner or when there's nothing else to eat. Oh, it doesn't yeah, get any easier than this. This is like the original struggle meal. This is deadass like the Rafiki of struggle meals. It doesn't matter if there's milk or not. There's been plenty mm -hmm. of times where I've been sitting in toast crunch in a Tupperware bowl and called it at night. Yep. I swear, cereal Fast. tastes way better at night. Like the flavor molecules just get taken to the third power like algebra. Cereal is <laughs> one of the only meals on this list that you can eat at any point during yeah. the day. And I've never been the type to use water, but whatever floats your boat, which I guess would be water. But if you're eating cereal with water, I hope you swallow your spoon. Reevaluate your life, bro. Man, it was the perfect, uh, Sleepover meal, man. We oh, had yeah, the, sure. your friends come over. She pop in a whole bunch of Tostino rolls. Man. It's over, bro. It's, it's got the game going. We good, bro. That's the OG of frozen, like, man, foods. Take me back. <laughs> Feed on the air fryer. I was straight going down in the kitchen with that. I was using that motherfucker more than Gen Z uses TikTok. I was dead ass programming that motherfucker like I was Dr. Duke. Nah, this is before we had the air fryer. If we would have air fryers as kids, man, bro, G. I don't think we would have ever G. used the oven. Yeah, GG's, bro. Like, she Moms would be like you, cause it's simple. Yep. Kids can like really, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Smirts. Then there were hot pockets, but no Ooh. matter what type of conditions oh, yeah. I put these motherfuckers through, the center was always colder than Mr. Freeze's ray gun. But anyway, like I said earlier, I was <laughs> in my fucking bag when it came to this shit. Fries, mozzarella sticks, you name it. Also, can't forget about the banquet meals, bro. I'm pretty sure that shit was made from dolphin ankles oh, and yeah. giraffe knees, but it was a hit every time, bro. Now we gotta talk about rice and beans. This was oh, like the yeah. worst case scenario. I yeah. think it's the last meal that I would go for, but I'm still inhaling this shit because I'm hungry as hell. But I ain't gonna lie, if you <laughs> use the right condiments and seasonings, you can revive this insipid dish. It would get elevated even more if you could yep. buy some chicken in the fridge and turn it into a fake ass Chipotle bowl. But as yep. I've gotten older, I've come to embrace this meal, especially after a workout. Now we gotta talk about canned food. Man, I used to be downing these like it was the apocalypse or something, bro. First, let's start off with Franks and Beans, or yep. as I like to call them, Beanies and Weenies. Now, since I don't eat pork, <laughs> I would just crack open a can of Bush's Vegetarian Baked Beans and cut up a hot dog. But if I'm being 100% honest bro. with you, this is probably the best meal on this list. I feel like even if you got a cabinet full of food with endless possibilities and options, everybody should try this, bro. There was nothing like eating a warm mm -hmm. bowl of this eminent stew. And then there were SpaghettiOs. Spaghetti now, this take might be harder than a I Texas sidewalk, but I personally think these need to be banned. Like, anybody with functioning taste buds would know SpaghettiOs taste like active hemorrhoids. And you know that if you live in a black household, you eat spaghetti more than the fucking lady in the tramp. Oh, yeah, bro. a big ass vat of it. And it would always last longer than Jake. And I used to eat spaghetti so much that nowadays I can't even eat it. Yeah. Because like <laughs> it, it was the ultimate leftover the meal. The ultimate. You eat that for the rest of the week. Yeah. <laughs> and, Enjoy. It, and it stained the hell out of your bowl. Yep. 
Yeah, now nah, your bowl is ruined. Yeah. <laughs> you knew which bowl you ate spaghetti. Coleslaw. Canned vegetables were also hidden, adding more to my excruciatingly sorrowful plate. Now we gotta talk about sleep and water. Well, well, well. The most sleep and water meal on this list. No pun intended. There ain't nothing like sleep with the side of water. Yep. You have had any of these meals I've listed off so far, but I know you've had this. At least you don't got a question whether or not you have any of this or not. The amount of times I tried to sleep off my hunger is prodigious. I'd be in my bed looking like I got hit with a fucking tranquilizer dart, bro. But this okay. is an S tier struggle meal, bro. That water yep. be tastes like all types of gourmet goodies and treats <laughs> when you're hungry, especially when it's cold. Also, shout out to Minute Maid, bro. Every time there would be Ooh. someone in the crib, I would suddenly start cosplaying as bad way and chugs. Y'all already know the moment this shit appears in the fridge, it disappears it's like brand. a Yep. magic trick. It's every man for themselves when it comes to yep. being made. Because this shit was like liquid crack. I was drinking this shit like future drinks lean. But yep. I think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. <laughs> that Comment down below your favorite struggle. Out the carton. As well as other. No, that minute made in Kool-Aid. Like was gone before it even touched the fridge. <laughs> my mom used to make the um, especially when you had none of that. She used to make like some original lemonade, mm -hmm. some homemade lemonade with the lemon. So I knew if we had lemons, she was about to make some lemonade, and then we would reuse the lemons sometimes mm -hmm. to make another picture mm -hmm. of lemonade man hey hey man we know how to survive around here man hey let us know y'all favorite uh struggle meal for sure back in the day what, what brought you up what had you going um we can get cinnamon toast crunch and all that like as far as cereals mm -hmm. back in you know you had your tutti fruities you had your corn flakes with the with the sugar mm -hmm. with a bunch of sugar when mm -hmm. we was young young then we got introduced to the frosted flakes and you know it kind of went from there but we were surviving out here. But it's good to see that a lot of us was doing the same thing. But if y'all enjoyed it, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you want the likes. Let us know what other videos we need to check out uh, similar to this, man. Keep on supporting, spreading love, being love. Catch y'all on the next one. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me